Beneath Martian surface lies a labyrinth, covered not just by nature, but maybe by design. Radar scans reveal tunnels, void chambers, empty or waiting. Is Mars protecting itself? We've sent signals, we've drilled, but always something interferes. A solar flare, a dust storm, a mechanical failure. And the biggest question of all, why now? Why are we being drawn to Mars again? What if the planet is a test? What if life was there and it ended not by accident, but by choice? Mars doesn't shout, it whispers, in dust, in erosion, in silence, and we've mistaken the silence for consent. But silence is not safety. Silence is a story untold, a planet that refuses to answer until we ask the right question. The one planet that once lived and then died, but did it truly die or did it simply change? We call it the red planet, 
but that red is not a color of life, it's rust. Iron oxide, Mars is corroded, but it wasn't always like this. Beyond speculation that Mars once had water, a lot of it, billions of years ago, its climate was warm and humid. Why did Mars go from a water-rich, temperature world to a frozen desert bombarded by radiation? The key lies in its magnetosphere or lack thereof. Unlike Earth, Mars does not have a global magnetic field. Around 4.2 billion years ago, its core began to cool, solar wind from the sun began stripping the atmosphere away, layer by layer, atom by atom. Atmosphere, no pressure, no liquid water, only ice. It didn't happen overnight, but it was relentless. That's when Mars started to die, not geologically, but chemically. In 2021, the InSight lander recorded Mars quakes, some of them caused by internal pressure, not easily explained. <laughs> 